So I built this piece um, back in 2011, uh, right before I graduated from North Bennett Street School in Boston, Massachusetts. It was like my final project before I left. I just love the Art Deco uh, French stuff, and this one's a, uh, a piece inspired by uh, Jean-Jacques Roulin. But I never got to complete it and I never put finish on it. A little bit about the piece, it's made in bird's eye maple and walnut. This cabinet has just been on my mind for way too long and I think it's time to finish it. So here we go. All of these pieces are actually cove cut on a table saw and it was the first time I had ever done cove cutting. So when they told me we were gonna do it on the table saw, I did not think that they were serious. First thing is it's not sitting flat, so I got to level the feet. So I made this story stick and I have it because uh, the legs aren't, aren't all even here. So I have this at 41 um, inches, so I'm going to place it. I have a hole drilled in there, so I'm going to place it over the top. Try and get it level enough. Saw it off. So I got a spot right here where the veneer has lifted up, so I'm gonna glue that back. So there's a few spots where the corners have just been dinged up from moving it so many times, so I'm gonna try and sand it, put some super glue in there and just smash it back closed. I'm using this uh, clear, deft, waterborne acrylic. And I like using this because it is pretty white and it doesn't yellow. So here we go. Alright, I got it all sanded and leveled. So I'm gonna use the same finish. All right, well, this one popped off the lathe, but I'm gonna keep a focus. Nope, not gonna focus. But it's okay, because I need to cut them at a 45 so it fits on the corner of the thing. I'll show you.
I'm gonna cut a flat spot on there about an eighth of an inch down. And then that's gonna sit just like that. So I moved into a new shop. So this was like the first project in that new shop. And uh, with this move and everything, I'm gonna be going full time with my own uh, personal designs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna be taking commissions anymore. Um, I'm just kinda gonna jump into the stuff that I've always wanted to make. And uh, you know, just see where it takes me. So if you want to support me on that journey, uh, you can subscribe to this channel. I hope you'll be coming out with a lot more videos. Uh, and uh, just a lot more content in general. So other ways to support me, I am on Patreon. You can go over there, uh, give me some love there if you want. If not, just uh, share this video around. I'll have all the links for all the products I use down below and uh, social media stuff, everything where to find me down there too. All right guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next.